Canton This Month. I'm your host, Diane Baker. During our show, we'll bring you a variety of special reports from throughout the community as well as local news and more. Canton This Month is produced by Canton Community Television and the Canton Municipal Government. Our show this month begins with a look at the graduating class of the Lead Like a Girl program. Then we'll check out the graduating class for the Be a Model Man program and we'll finish it out with a recap of the Together Towards Tomorrow Peace Walk. All this and more when we return to Cam This Month. Keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road so that everyone can make it home. Community Relations Officer Patty Esselink of the Canton Police Department. We continue to receive complaints of drivers not stopping for school bus red lights. I want to take this opportunity to remind you when the lights turn red on the school bus that means stop. As you're driving down the road and the bus initiates the yellow flashing lights, those lights tell you to slow down. When the lights turn red and the stop signs go out, that means you must stop in all directions on a non-divided highway. If the highway is divided, the vehicles behind the bus must stop on those red flashing lights. Remember, it's not just you that we are worried about. We're also worried about all of the children who are exiting and entering those buses. So remember, stop on those red lights. Now let's turn to the news. In honor of Liberty Fest, the Summit on the Park is currently offering a Liberty Fest membership special. Purchase an annual membership and save 20%. This special will be available June 1st through 30th and excludes matinee memberships as well as any annual membership with payment plan. Contact Membership Services at 394-5460 and get started today. For more information, visit someoneonthepark.org. Area residents with disabilities and their families are invited to interact with Canton Public Safety first responders at Community Connection Day, a free event on Saturday, June 29th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Canton Fire Station No. 1. Meet first responders including Canton's police officers, paramedics, firefighters, and more. Community Connection Day participants of all ages will enjoy a hands-on public safety display. This program is presented in partnership with Canton Public Safety, Plymouth Canton Community Schools, and Canton Therapeutic Recreation. For more information, visit cantonfund.org or call 394-5367. And the Summit on the Park's Personal Care Pantry is now open to the public during regular business hours to assist community members who are struggling to meet some important basic needs. If you know someone or experiencing a need, you can visit the pantry by asking the Summit Member Services staff at the front desk or make arrangements by emailing our Member Services staff at summitmemberservices at canton-mi.org. If you would like to help us keep our pantry stocked, donations are always welcome. A donation box is now located in the Summit Lobby where personal care items are being collected including cleaning supplies, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, soap, tissue, toilet paper, toothbrushes, and more. For additional information, visit summitonthepark.org. Can Sports Center will host a special entry-level cricket summer camp on Wednesdays from June 19th through July 24th. Participants ages 7 through 14 will learn the basics of this popular sport. This camp will be held from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Heritage Park Cricket Field. Registration fees are $100 for Canton residents and $110 for non-residents. The fee includes instruction, play shirt, and use of equipment. Register online today at cantonfun.org. And we'll be back with more Canton This Month.
What are the benefits of shopping local? Besides finding quality products and produce in your own backyard, shopping local means your produce is hand-picked and brought to you in its freshest state. Local products means less travel, which helps the environment. Plus, your business helps support the members in your community. So keep it local and visit the Canton Farmer's Market Sundays from May until October at Preservation Park. Go to facebook.com slash Canton Farmer's Market for more details. I'm Officer Patty Esselink with the Canton Police Department. School is in full swing. The signs are out and the lights are flashing, reminding us to reduce our speeds and be patient. Students belong in the school zone. Your distractions do not. Let's limit our distractions and let's keep our students safe. Slow down and be patient. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the Lead Like a Girl graduating class. In the fall of 2015, Canton Leisure Services unveiled a new program for young ladies called Lead Like a Girl. In a time when doing something like a girl became an insult, Lead Like a Girl turned it into a battle cry that redefined generations of women who struggle with challenges of sexism, bias, and self-esteem. With Lead Like a Girl, young ladies in Canton are learning how to confront and defeat those issues. This is a, a program specifically designed um, to build girls' confidence, teach them leadership skills um, that they're going to use for a lifetime. Lead Like a Girl shows me um, just how much that girls can really do because of all the people that we get to meet and how important they are to what they do. So it's kind of like eye-opening to me that says, like when I get a job, I can do something with that position that I get. I really did learn a lot that I had no idea about, like the glass ceiling, I did not know what that was at all. And I feel like knowing now really like opens my eyes to more things I didn't even realize. Now in 2019, Lead Like a Girl is graduating its fourth class, proving for another year that Lead Like a Girl not only works, but is needed. At first I didn't want to do it, <laughs> but then I started going and I had so much fun. I made a lot of new friends. And we like a girl. It's just really a great experience. We do so many fun things. And it's great food too. Honestly, the whole thing was amazing because it really taught me a lot about the experience. And they took us on so many field trips, and it was amazing because we got to learn a lot from it. So I really loved it, and yeah, I did want to do it. So and I got to. The goal of Lead Like a Girl is to boost morale, confidence, self-awareness, and self-esteem in the participants. By walking the path laid by prior classes, participating in scheduled events, and following the guidelines of the staff, this group of shy and sometimes unsure girls blossomed into courageous, strong-minded, success-driven young women who now realize that anything is possible. Don't follow what other people have to do. Because if you do, then you're just going to end up as they said you should and you're not gonna be able to go where you want to be. Lead Like a Girl taught me to be a leader and not just follow people, but be the leader that just wants to change the world and just be myself. And um, it was amazing knowing what other women were going through and seeing how you can change just anything. Girls can do anything that boys can do. And if you start doing something, you don't need to stop just because boys say you can't do it. With its continued success, Lead Like a Girl is proving to be everything the founders hoped for. We faced a lot of challenges, um, thought about ways that we could do things better. So definitely in the years to come, we want to build the program to be able to service more young girls. So our hope is to be able to touch and reach the lives of so many more. One of the special things about Lead Like a Girl is that young women return to assist with the program. All of the girls that have graduated from the program will come back the following year as mentees to the new girls. The experience for them lasts more than just that year when they're able to come back as a mentee. Moving towards the future, Lead Like a Girl Canton continues on its path to shape and encourage the young ladies of its program by building self-esteem, confidence, and awareness of who they are and what they may become. It really helped me because now um, there's, I see a lot of people 
who sometimes need change and I want to be that person who brings change to them. We all had something going into We Like a Girl, but we all came out with knowing something really different. They have been incredibly brave in their pursuit of, um, you know, becoming a better leader and a better person. So, you know, I couldn't be any more proud of them already. I'm celebrating the success of it and it's not over yet. I pledge my strength to the team, to, to the, the girls and girlhood everywhere, and, and to the brilliance and bravery for which we stand. I pledge my loyalty to the crew who have each other's backs, especially when our backs are against the wall. I pledge my friendship to the tribe, to inside jokes told in outside voices, and rallying cries told as whispers. I pledge my laughter to the party, with late night plots to change the world, made over giggles and popcorn. I pledge my voice to millions and millions of one in a million girls, one girlhood, indivisible, with infinite potential to lead like a girl. It's that time of year again for summer breezes and live music to fill the air of Canton's Heritage Park. Thursday night live concert series sponsored by Community Financial Credit Union is back with some exciting additions including weekly food trucks, a beer and wine garden sponsored by Maraschino's Pub, family lawn games, and two paint and pours on July 18th and August 15th for $20. These free concerts will kick off on Thursday, June 27th featuring Sirius Jack performing pop, rock, and country favorites. Future concerts will be held every Thursday through August 15th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Heritage Park Amphitheater located behind the Canton Administration Building. No concert will be held on July 4th. Participants are encouraged to bring a chair or blanket and sit back and relax to the sounds of summer. For additional information, visit cantonfun.org. And students 10 through 17 years of age will be instructed on practice areas and the golf course for one day per week for five weeks. Junior golfers of all levels are welcome to join. The primary goal of the junior golf program is to introduce and instruct juniors in the fundamental techniques of pitching, putting, chipping, and the full swing. This program will be held on Wednesdays from July 10th through August 7th from 10.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Participants will learn about safety, etiquette, course management, and proper place of play. Registration fees are $269 per student and include instruction, green fees, and lunch. Sign up today at the Pro Shop or call 397-6460. Now let's check out the graduating class of the Be a Model Man program. BAM is what you might call that extra ingredient that many young men need in their lives. It fills in the holes with the essentials that everyday living hasn't the time to plug. Scott Cardell, Teen Service Programmer at The Block. I think this program is awesome because it gives these young men a chance to learn skills that aren't necessarily taught in school but that are necessary both in succeeding as a professional but also as a good man. And so, you know, getting to be exposed to things like building a resume or how to, you know, showcase yourself professionally in an interview are all things that men are going to need to know whether they end up going to college or working or whatever the case may be. These are skills that are essential and it gives them a chance to get a head start you know, at a much younger age than many men do um, in their lives. BAM's goal is simple. Take young men and help them grow into forward-thinking businessmen and strong but compassionate community leaders. In its third year, BAM is proving effective. It holds meetings and workshops where they explore the six core values and introduce the young men to professionals in related fields. So we meet monthly and in our workshops we have one of our core values kind of assigned to each meeting. Um, our core values are empathy, compassion, respect, integrity, inner strength, and courage. And so each meeting will have one of those core values highlighted and then another um, meet up with a working professional in a different field and so each meeting the boys will be able to explore and dialogue and learn about one of our core values while also getting to interact with a professional in a field selected for that month. We've met with athletes, we've met with men in the media, whether it be working in a cable studio or in a radio studio. We've also met with men in STEM, we've met men in the medical field and so it's kind of given the boys a chance to be exposed to different 
professions, as well as learning about different values and what it takes to be a man of character. The amazing thing about BAM is it feels less like something these young men have to do and more like something they want to do. I like hanging out with my friends and learning how to be a role model in my community. I pretty much mostly like how it's allowing me to learn new things about being a man and how it get, allows us to think deeply about certain subjects. This program not only educates, but it listens as well. Not much men get to express how they feel. And like, if they bottle things up too much, like, they're gonna explode. And that won't happen to me because I have people to talk to. BAM has helped them in numerous ways. Some came with little to no confidence. BAM is changing that. Well, it's made me more aware of what's around me and the people around me, and to be more compassionate and to be more honest and more respectful. I wasn't always as open to my parents. Like I would be a quiet, like not quiet child, but I would be open, but not as open as I am now. As BAM has them looking towards their future, they get a feel of what lays ahead and what they can become. We've met police officers, uh, entrepreneurs, we've also met chefs, and all those people, they've told us about their experiences coming up in life and how they've acquired their jobs and what they've learned throughout their lives. We went to many different places and we've seen a lot of role models that would help us with our, with our daily prompts like respect and integrity and compassion. Like we went to EMU, spoke to, um, spoke to a mentor over there. We went to the radio station, spoke to radio hosts. We hung out with the football players. They taught us about teamwork and leadership. BAM has made positive steps within the lives of its young participants. So much so that those we talked to gave the program a thumbs up and would recommend it to others. I think it can really help you with your future growing up and being a respectful and honest young man. I would recommend it because of the people we meet here and the mentors that we meet. They're really nice. It really engage, it allows us to engage in activities that would benefit us in the future. It might help other young men open up and choose their future. But BAM is more than the workshops, trips, and meeting successful businessmen. Its biggest assets are probably its staff. I think of Scott as a personal friend, like he's a good friend, he, he understands what it's like, he knows, what, he knows what's good for us. And there's Evan, he helps Scott decide what we're going to eat for lunch, what should we do. There's Laura, the person who created this. I think she's really a good person for creating this for young men to be open. And what I think of um, Justin and Zach. They teach us what should we say and what should we not say. Like, if someone's like being a big jerk to you, they tell us just take a deep breath. They're all pretty cool. Like, I mean, there's nothing bad about them. I don't think there'd be anybody else better to like mentor us because of the skills that they have. While the young men feel the changes within, the mentors happily take notice on how much their young protégés have grown. It's really cool to see them get to grow professionally at such a young age, but also to get to learn values and skills that a lot of adults struggle with, particularly as men with learning things such as empathy and compassion and what it really means to put yourself in someone else's shoes or care about another person and show them kindness. It's really cool to see these guys get to develop these skills and essentially thrive in them as young men. I would like to say thank you. From, to my parents and to all the staff for letting this happen. Thankful for you guys.
As temperatures start to rise, watch for more seasonal produce to roll in every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Canton Farmer's Market. Stop by to see your favorite vendors and pick up some fresh produce, baked goods, handcrafted artisan items, lunch, and more every Sunday through October 13th. For more information, look for updates on our Facebook page. Search Canton Farmer's Market. Canton Sports Center is a place for play for all ages, preschool to seniors. Summer Session League sign-up is now underway for adult softball featuring co-ed, men's E&D divisions. Canton Sports Center is at the heart of Victory Park on Michigan Avenue with 12 lit softball fields, a kid's playscape, and kicker's sports grill. For information, visit csc.canton-mi.org or call 483-5600. With golf season underway, we ask anyone other than golf course patrons to refrain from entering Canton's golf course properties. Walkers and joggers often think to use golf course paths of trails for exercise, which could in fact be very dangerous. Unauthorized persons entering Pheasant Run Golf Club property will be approached and asked to leave for their own safety. Violators may be subject to prosecution. Canton has plenty of walking paths and trails within close proximity that offer a great change of scenery. For information on these scenic paths and trails, please visit cantonfun.org. In addition, for safety reasons, fishing in the ponds at either Pheasant Run Golf Club or Fellows Creek Golf Club is prohibited. By remembering these rules, we can all have a safe and fun time on the links. Canton's 2019 Road Improvement Program, funded by the road millage that was approved by voters last summer, has begun in the following locations. Salts Road, concrete repairs and reconstruction from Beck to Lily Roads, Hanford Road, concrete repairs and reconstruction from Beck to Haggerty Roads, Lots Road, concrete repairs from Ford to Warren Roads, Lily Road, base repairs and resurfacing from south of Ford Road and north of Cherry Hill Road. Please drive carefully through the area and follow all posted detours. Residents are advised to avoid the construction areas if at all possible. To view the list of 2019 major county road projects as well as a tentative construction schedule, visit canton-mi.org forward slash roads. And we'll be right back with more Canton This Month. Meet first responders, including Canton's police officers, paramedics, firefighters, and more at Canton's Community Connection Day on June 29th from 10 a.m. to noon at Canton's Fire Station 1, located on Heritage Park Road next to the Administration Building. This event helps connect individuals in the special needs community with resources that are available to them in our community and surrounding ones. Participants can enjoy a hands-on public safety display, get answers to all of their questions, and learn about some important local programs and resources. This program is presented in partnership with Canton Public Safety and Building Bridges Therapy Center. For more information or questions about this event, contact Cheryl Steck at cheryl.steck at canton-mi.org. Are you 55 or older? Are you looking to add more steps to your day? Then check out the walking club at Club 55 inside the summit on the park. You'll gain access to our indoor track with a monthly incentive program designed to keep you moving. Participants are able to walk during summit hours without having to purchase a summit membership. They only have to purchase an annual Striders membership for $5 for residents and $8 for non-residents, which will allow them to walk at a discounted price of $1 for residents and $3 for non-residents each time you visit. Canton is asking residents to be vigilant in the recycling efforts by keeping contamination out of recycling carts. Contamination occurs when non-recyclables are placed in the carts, which can include anything from food waste to plastic bags. Not adhering to the recycling guidelines, along with the poor materials markets, is having a negative impact on recycling nationwide. Residents should only place clean, acceptable materials in their recycling cart. Failure to comply with Canton's guidelines will impact our program going forward through increased rates, restricted materials lists, temporary recycling bans, or a combination of any of these. To view a list of what is and not accepted in your recycling cart, visit canton-mi.org. Canton Sports Center is offering a number of leisure opportunities for youth and adults for spring and summer. Please visit csc.canton-mi.org for details on sand volleyball, rookie baseball, lacrosse, baseball and basketball camps, and many more. For more information or register, visit cantonfund.org or call 483-5600. 
Kent would like to assure all residents and business owners that we take the safety of our water supply system very seriously. Each year, Canton issues a consumer confidence report that gives a detailed analysis about where Canton's water comes from and the treatment process it goes through. It also gives consumers detailed information about the quality of their drinking water. The 2018 report can be downloaded at canton-mi.org forward slash Canton Water Report. If you have any questions, please call Canton's Division of Public Works at 397-1011. Don't go away. We'll be racked with more Canton This Month. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the Together Towards Tomorrow Peace Walk. Here today we are at Together Towards Tomorrow, which is a youth-led peace walk put on by the Youth Advisory Council through the Black Youth and Teen Center. The Youth Advisory Council is a council made up of high school students that live in the Plymouth Canton area that are dedicated to promoting youth and serving the community. And they came up with this idea today to do a youth-led peace walk where we would make signs and we would speak about things that young people are passionate about today going on in the world. One of our partners here today too that um, help greatly is Canton Public Safety. We have a wonderful relationship with our public safety department so they're here on site today um, letting them know too that they're here to support the teens and that they're here to make Canton a safe and better place for everyone as well. As uh, the police department and personally myself, I love being able to see the different cultures and the diversity of the community come together to show that, hey, you know what, we can all live together inclusively and understand each other's differences. It's nice to know that we live in such a great community that is very comfortable for people to do. I love the idea that the youth have come together from the Canton community to put this event on. Knowing that they have spearheaded this and that this is important to them is heartwarming as they are willing to learn about the different cultures and the different people that live here in the community because education is such an incredible tool uh, when we think about um, diversity that the more you understand somebody the be more that you respect them and you better understand why they do certain things or why they don't do certain things so seeing that the youth in the community are willing to support such a great event I love it. They don't have to wait till they're adults to make change here. We want the youth here in Canton to know that what they have to say matters and that um, we're here to support them in their endeavors to make Canton and the world a safe and better place for all. We hope you've enjoyed our show. On behalf of the team at Canton this month, I'm Diane Baker, and I'll see you in Canton.